guys, my name is Vitaly and today we want to see how we can generate work schedules in SAP. Work schedules are widely used in SAP time management, it's part of HR functionality. So let's get started. First of all, we need to open our transaction SPRO to open our SAP reference IMG. Then let's scroll down to time management, work schedules. And let's see what we have here. We can open the so-called work schedule rules. And let's scroll down to, let's say, 1, US, and click Enter. So this is work schedules we have. We have some groupings, we have holiday calendar, we have personal sub area groupings, we have work schedule rule code. So, so this is the code uh, users usually see in InfoType 7 short name and some data like daily work hours like weekly work days and so forth also we can see that we have a period work schedule it's some sort of template that we will be extending starting this date at this point in the template and all those rules will be effective starting january 1st 1990 and forever so let's go back. We have some work schedules. Um, there are actually two options how we can do this. First option, we can create those manually. So click here. And this is transaction PT01. So if we open another screen and type in PT01, we will see exactly the same transaction. We can enter all the data right here. Um, let's say US uh, subgrouping usually it's 10 for the United States and then let's select the work schedule so here we can see all the work schedules assigned to the United States and we want to type in the period so today is 2019 uh, so let's say it would be January 2019 to December 2019th that's it then we can click create all system warns us that we have already those work schedules generated but it's fine for our situation let's click enter 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 and here we go so right now month by month system will be asking us to verify the work schedule. In the work schedule we have so-called holiday class. Oh, this is day type, sorry. Day type, this is a holiday class, and this is the daily work schedule, and daily work schedule variant. Right now we don't have any variants here. So we verify this, we click save, and then system says that work schedule generated for January 2019. We click next month, again verify, save and that's it. If we have some deviations we can manually change, let's say for the 19th we'd like to change work schedules to something else, so daily work schedule grouping would be 10 and let's say so there was a PD12 work schedule, this one, we'd like to change it to the 10 hour work shift. Click save and here we go. And we can do it all the same way for all months for 2019. Done. If you would like to view this schedule, go back to the display or transaction PT03 display, and you can see this is our workday that we have changed. So, this is one way, it's manually, uh, it's very time consuming, and there is another option how we can do this is to generate work schedules in batch. So click here, fill the same data, uh, hold the class, uh, hold the calendar US, personal subgroup 10, and let's say we want to generate all work schedules for the United States for this year. So we left those work schedule rules blank, type in 01 2019 to 12 2019, and here it asks for the batch input session. Let's say it would be work schedules 
2019. We want it online, so we give it space and run it. It will confirm that those work schedules will be generated for those periods. Good. We are fine with that. Go back. And then let's go to transaction slash NSM35. This is our batch input. It was generated uh, by myself on this date, so we are fine. Select it, click process, click background, otherwise it would ask you all the steps and you need to manually click, click, click and click. We don't want this. So click background, click process and have some time, make a cup of coffee, click enter. Once it has disappeared from here, it means that all was processed. Unfortunately, it won't show here because it doesn't usually skip those batch inputs by default when we generate work schedules. But if we go back and let's say open transaction PT03, let's choose some else work schedule. Let's say this one, click display, and here we go. We have this work schedule. You can see that it was changed today, and we're good to go. That's it. It was very easy. It's usually done in five minutes. And usually we do this when we understand what holidays will be in the next year, what dates those holidays will be assigned. And we just click this button, generate work schedules. Usually we do it in December and we generate work schedules for the next whole year. That's it. Stay in touch, subscribe, and I'll show you a lot of different things about SAP 